work our way through some background on map projections and coordinate systems. So the datum, horizontal datum, we need to specify what the ellipsoid is and then we got to specify some coordinate lo locations on the surface. The vertical is we specify the ellipsoid and then we specify the geoid. So vertical is giving us elevation data and the uh, horizontal datums are giving us the sort of latitude and longitude to an extent. extent. So back in the day, um, we needed to measure positions from a uh, place on the globe from one place to another. Uh, this is uh, Robin Williams' uh, fr first job here. And so how do you do this? This uh, in sort of an old school way or by taking observations from uh, satellite tracking. So historically what was done was a triangulation network. You take a uh, astronomical observation and establish one point and then would work from point to point on the, on the globe. So uh, you'd use a triangulation here because it, it was relatively easy to measure the angles but different, difficult to measure the distance and you're, you're doing a point to point distance not, not a, a path along the ground. Uh, even before that, uh, surface measurements, uh, here you have compensation bars, and the idea was that we were going to measure from this point to this point, uh, compensation being a way that we would uh, be able to, to compensate for the different temperatures and the expansion of the rod. Overall, the idea is to get some benchmarks that are placed. And so you can see this uh, is up on top of the mountain here, putting one of these benchmarks around. And you can find these um, in many places around. There's uh, maps that show where they are. There's probably uh, 30 or 40 of them around uh, your local area. So over time, um, we had rods and chains. You may have heard of uh, something along along that uh, idea. Uh, but here you have a a series of uh, devices from measuring from from one place to another. So we went from uh, the 1600s where it was really kind of related to uh, your hand or, or a pace, if you will, uh, then to the 1800s where they became rods and chains and 1700s where uh, it was a metal tape. So in 1927 um, It took 26,000 measured points utilizing the spheroid uh, of Clark in 1866. And the uh, starting point was in Kansas. So the uh, survey extended from that. Uh, and you can kind of see from the, the shape of the survey that there's an interest in the populated areas. You know, of course, you're very interested in the border of the United States. Um, and Looking at the, the density here was quite high in the in the area around you know, Washington D.C. and so on. So in the 20s, uh, we we're measuring from with a, with an optical uh, device. In the 1950s, we we're microwave reflecting uh, systems, and now in the 1990s and beyond, uh, we're using a GPS sort of high-end GPS equipment. And here you can note that it's actually referencing a, uh, a sidewalk. So the, um, we're using aerial photography to really establish some of these points on the grounds now, ground now. So in 1981, you can see there's quite a bit more dense uh, survey locations. In 1983, a couple of years later, uh, it's uh, 250,000 points using the uh, Earth-centered ellipsoid. Or even, even more dense than before. 
So what all this means is that depending on when your data was taken, your concept of where the actual location is on the Earth is changing. So for example, uh, the error or shift in the, in the datum or shift in a measurement, uh, if we take the North American datum uh, 1927 is zero, um, you're 35 or so meters off, 36 meters off. But then uh, from that point, 1983 or 1986, 1980, as you move forward, uh, you can see that the, the shifting is much less. So these are meters. So 36 meters and then um, 4 centimeters, 5 centimeters, and a tenth of a, or a full meter. So how far different in location do we we really feel these places are. So this requires us to do transformations because we want these points. Some data that is is done this way, we want to line right up on top of data that's done this way, which we want to line right up on top of data that's done that way. 